What is up guys? Welcome to today's episode where I had a busy day and I am on my way home, driving home. It's super dark. You probably can't see anything. <laughs> How about we just treat this one more like a podcast? It's fucking 5.30 and dark as fuck in Chicago. Actually, it gets dark at about 4.15. <clears throat> but anyways, um, yeah, I just had a uh, few clients. I'm on my way home from the gym to go home and call it a day. So something I wanted to share with you guys today is the fact that I am changing up my workout routine. Changing it up big time, doing something that I haven't done in a long time with kind of like the holidays coming around you know things are just going to be changing up a lot and uh, it's just gonna be more beneficial to me to change my workout routine to something that is more along the lines of a three day a week program We're going to be doing a two day split just kind of like a workout a and a workout B plan man it's so dark right now so I just want to share with you guys kind of what that is going to look like. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. So what does my new workout plan look like? It's basically two different workouts and it's going to be based on like the rep scheme is going to be based on 531, which is a program that I really do enjoy doing. Um, but the way that it's gonna go as far as like body parts being worked. So on the A workout, which is what I did today, and it's just gonna basically, you know, throughout the week, like the, the you know, optimal way to go about doing this is lifting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and doing workout A, then workout B, then workout A, and then next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday would be workout B, workout A, and then workout B, and then so on throughout the month. So let's see, today, what we did. I got in legs, and then we did shoulders, and then triceps and calves. Workout B is going to consist of chest, back, biceps, and abs. <laughs> basically so that's what we we've got so today let me just give you a, a quick rundown of uh, what we did so I started off with squats um, doing basically so the way the 531 program works is so basically you find your max and then you multiply that number by 0.9 that gives you your training max now that is the max that you're gonna use to base your numbers on for the 531 program. So today for squats, like I'm starting off really light with uh, my training max. So um, based on, you know, what I did last week, I did 365 by five. Now was that a, a real five rep max? No, um, but you know, it was difficult. It was, it was slightly hard. I mean, I would call it maybe like an RPE seven which is not that hard at all, but but that's where I'm gonna start because the thing is, with 531, you can start too heavy, but you really, I don't feel you can start too light on the 531 program, and I think you're better off starting too light than too heavy for sure. So, uh, based on doing 365 by five, that equals about a 415 or so max, and you multiply that by 0.9, to get my training max. And then from there, we take that number and multiply it on this first day by 60, by 0 0.65 and then 0 0.75 and 0 0.85. So that's 65%, 75% and 85% of 90% of my actual max. So today for back squats, what we did was, let's see, we did 245, then we did 275 and then we did 315 for an all out set. So it was, it was, let me say that again, it was 245 by five, then 275 by five, and then 315 for an all out set. So um, that's kind of the way the 531 program goes for week one. 
Um, I ended up doing 12 reps of 315, which is not a best, you know, I've done 20 with it before, but uh, my cardio is shit right now, so that's what I got, 12 reps with 365. I probably could have done more, but you know what? It's week one, no big deal. Um, usually, like the way that it works is you kind of want to be able to get like eight to 12 reps between, you know, weeks one through three. So like week two, the percentages go to 70%, 80%, 90% and for uh, sets of three, three, and then max out at 90%. And then week three, it goes 75, 85, and 95% of your training max. And it goes, uh, you know, set one is, is five reps, set two is three reps, and then set three is another max out. And if you've got your percentages set right, if you've got your training max set right, technically on week three, set three, you should be able to get about eight, eight reps with that or so, um, which, you know, should line up correctly for me there and then you know the next week week four is a deload week and then you start over you go back to week one and you add 10 pounds to any leg exercises and five pounds to any upper body exercises so that's the way that it's gonna go um so yeah today like i started with squats and then i went on to hack squats hack squats and then i went on to seated leg curls and then after that it was uh what I do. Um, then we went on to shoulders and I did a standing overhead press. So that one is, you know, a five, three, one exercise where, um, it was 65, 75 and 85%, 85% for me of my 90% training max is, uh, was 155. And I did that for 12, um, uh, which I probably, you know, if I went all out on it I probably could have done maybe 15 or 16 or something like that but so overhead presses work the same way as squats and that's gonna go the same you know for week two and week three also so I did overhead presses and then after that went on to a standing lateral raise and then went on to a reverse fly um, for shoulders and that rounded out that uh, and then let's see we moved on to triceps basically did a line down tricep extension with an easy bar and then did a standing uh standing tricep press down yeah and then after that it was calves doing a standing standing calf raise and then a seated calf raise and basically everything that's not technically like a five three one exercise you know all the like little fluff and puff stuff on week one, you're going for, you're using a light enough weight to do sets of 20. Um, on week two, you're doing light enough sets or heavy enough sets, heavy enough weight to do sets of 15. And then week three, you're doing heavy enough sets to do sets of 10. So each week you're definitely using heavier weights, going for less reps and trying to basically at least get one set in there where it's an all out failure on that. So that is basically the way that the um, 531 program is going to go that in this, you know, ABA setup and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I mean, it is a very successful way to go about doing a lifting program if you can't get in the gym all that often. <clears throat> this is one of the ways that Dorian Yates used to train. Um, I don't think he did. He didn't do like the 531 uh, idea. Um, you know, you can use this style of training with 531, you can do it with dog crap, you can do it um, in more of just like a basic high intensity Dorian Yates style of training, but Dorian did also do an ABA style of training. Um, if you guys didn't know, he actually has his training log that he used in the 1980s. Um, he's got that, you can buy that on Amazon. Um, it's very interesting. I, you can actually look at they, they have uh, they allow you to look at like a a, sam a sample of that, and you can see some of the pages from his notebook, and you'll see that yes, he did an ABA setup, and you can see the weights he used, the reps he got for these days, and um, so that's pretty much uh, 
all I got for you guys today. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to share my, my workout routine, what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple months while, uh, you know, we are on our TRT dosing. So that's what's up, that's what's going on. I am now home and I'm gonna go eat some food. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you learned something. I hope uh, this was somewhat enjoyable for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder, and I will see you all tomorrow.